Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Diga Deshmukh and Waba George. This is a game from Mumbai International Tournament played in 2019. Diga Deshmukh had white pieces and she started with e4. Waba George played e5. Knight to c3, going for the Vienna game. Knight to f6, bishop to c4. Knight to c6, d3, bishop to e7, f4, d6, white to move, f5 was played. Knight to f3 is the most played move, and then black usually plays bishop to g4. Back to our game. So Divya played f5, blocking the light squared bishop. Waba George castle king's side. White to move. Bishop to e3 was played. Knight to f3 is the most precise move. Bishop to e3. And we have reached the first critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Waba George played knight to a5, intending to chop the bishop on c4. Bishop takes pawn on f5 should have been considered. And after pawn takes a bishop, d5. If bishop goes to b5, then d4. If you don't spot the critical position, you may miss a good opportunity. Back to our game. We have knight to a5. Most players would play something like bishop to b3. Divya played queen to e2. Knight takes on c4. d takes on c4. c6 preventing knight to d5. Divya castled queen's side. With the opposite side castling, both sides usually consider a pawn storm on the opponent's castled king. It is black to move. How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Waba George played a5. Perhaps a6 intending b5 should have been considered. Or even b5. One line goes like this. c takes on b5. c takes on b5. Queen takes on b5. White won a pawn. But the white queen is on the wrong side of the board. And the game may continue like this. Queen to c7, queen to e2, rook to b8. And if now something like g4, then queen to a5, intending bishop to a6, and then rook from f to c8. This is a pretty good compensation for a sacrifice pawn. Back to our game. a5. Let's see how this compares with a6 and b5 plane. Divya played g4, intending g5, and now h6 in a panic mode. And now white plays the obvious, and what is the obvious move here? It is h4, you want to play g5, and to open the h file. Knight to d7, knight to f3. Naturally, Divya wants all her pieces to have fun f6 preventing g5. It is white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Divya played the most logical move, and that is g5. You don't have to think too long about this, even if you lose a pawn. The h5 will open for your rook and the queen. f takes on g5, h takes on g5, h takes on g5, black is a pawn up, and the pawn on g5 is defended. How should white continue? How to win the pawn on g5? Or maybe that is a wrong question to ask. What is the best move for white in this position? Divya played queen to h2, intending to visit the black king. a4. This attack is extremely slow and not effective. It was better for black to be a pawn down and to have activity on the queen's side 
than to be a pawn up and have a king in danger, isn't it? The game continued. Queen to h7 check. King to f7. Queen to g6 check. King to g8. Rook to h7. Threatening. Queen takes on g7 check mate. Defending. But white played a move when black resigned and the move is the obvious one. Rook from d to h1. And there is no sensible defense against rook to h8 check mate. Okay, let's play this random move. a3 and then rook to h8 check mate. What do you think of this game and the conducting of the pawn storm by both sides? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.